because the job you are doing is a valuable one, you will not steal. That is why you are working hard. No job is bad. And I say, God bless you. God will be with you. God will guide you. We will support you. Support you always. Head of Service Lagos Church, Permanent Secretaries, Chairman of Proper Local Government, First Chairman and Supervisors, Honorable Councillors, the Ojara of Lagos, Chief Fatai Arumire, Director of Personnel Management and Health of Department, Balance and Traditional Chiefs, Community and Party Leaders, Market Men and Women, Gentlemen of the Press, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. On behalf of the members of the Executive, the Legislative Arm, Management and the Good People of Apapa, I wish to thank our Your Excellency, Ashwadu Bala Ahmed Tunubu and your entourage for finding time and miss your touch schedule to visit a proper local government, the Golden Council. I always wish to extend our profound gratitude and sincere appreciation to the active governor of Lagos for your understanding achieve, for your outstanding achievements and efforts at making Lagos State a safe and reassuring place for all to live despite all your plans of pleasant happenings. You are indeed a shining example for each and every one of us to emulate. My appreciation always goes to the royal fathers, traditional chiefs, community leaders, party leaders, market men and women for honoring our invitation for today's events and making it a memorable one. May I also thank the entire management and staff of this local government for their relentless effort at making today's concern a success. Let me also extend our gratitude to all other invited guests, including the pressmen, security agents, and other two numerous to mention. Finally, we give all the glory and thanks to the mighty Allah for making today's event a historic one. We pray that all that Allah grants you journey masses back to your previous destinations. Thank you all and God bless. I want to share with you what has been your experience within the past few months in office in Lagos City. Well, not few months, few years now. Uh, well, it has been very hard going. But all in all, uh, I'm grateful to God and I'm grateful to our governor for all his help. Um, the road is, has been very rough. A lot of things have been vandalized, money was not there, uh, all infrastructure in the local government had collapsed, so we have to rebuild from scratch. But thank God today, HSA local government is one of the local government that we can boast that uh, whoever comes to our local government can see for himself or herself. Uh, a Latin proverb says, Kidere es Kidere. Sin is believing. Come and see it for yourself. Uh, sir, you may wish to be more specific on what you have been able to put on ground in the past few years. Well, it's not just one, one thing. Generally, when you look at the whole structure of the local government, we have, uh, we, we have almost covered all ground in education, health, in even staff development, uh, you name it. You see, come and see for yourself, as I said. Your, your sin is believing. You see, uh, we have managed to do in about two and a half years 
what people thought it was impossible, you see. But at the same time, look where we are standing now. This road is wider, smooth. That is help from the governor himself, you see. So the two levels of government have been complementary all along. And Ethiopia in particular, we are very, very grateful to Almighty God. How will you describe what Ola Ahmed Tinobu's achievement within this uh, years on that review, sir? It's tremendous. It's absolutely tremendous. Uh, even the ardent critics, they, now, they will now agree that when we talk of action governor, Governor Bola Ahmed Tinobu is an exceptionally good administrator. Well, you can see it for yourself, you see. I cannot see how anybody can get up tomorrow. If Bola Tinumbu is coming out for a second time, nobody can beat him. It's not possible. So, what else you want me to say? We still have a lot to say, Yes. Yeah, well, uh, there you are. It's, um, Lagos is changing. It is changing. The face of Lagos is changing. Uh, look at the area of refuse collection. You see? Before we came on board, every corner, every road in Lagos is piled up with refuse. Where are the refuse now? You see? It has been cleared. Drainage, road. You mention it. You see? Uh, in every area of municipal development, you see, we are forging ahead. And I think, uh, personally, I will back him all the way. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Honorable Commissioner, the day of joy for, my, for the chairman, my very good friend, Alaji Mujid Akoni, and myself being, shall I say, a pioneer commissioner in this local government. We have been together since the since the days of SDP and before that yes. when we used to battle uh, for various small small <laughs> positions what secretary this kind of thing we both come up through the grassroots uh, particularly through the ward we both come up through local government and it is quite significant that today is the day on which His Excellency is coming to visit Lagos State. Let me tell you why. So many reasons. Number one on December the 4th 1998 Nobody knew who would be the chairman of this local government. Am I not correct? That is true. And those are the days in which we had a Fanny Ferry, AD, so, so, so. We were not quite sure exactly who was going to be chairman of this local government. But Providence is always the great provider. And Alaji uh, emerged as the candidate and, of course, he swept the polls. Wherever AD runs in the southwest will sweep the polls. At any rate, Today is a day where His Excellency is going to come and at least commission this road. This road itself is a, is a type, bears the hallmark of the work of Lagos State Government at present. It is widened, it is now dualized. Eventually there are going to be traffic lights and street lights here. The same thing goes for Akin as Shola. As the Chairman has said, refuse is now a thing of the past. And there are more things coming as far as refuse is concerned in Lagos State. I will not want to say anything more, any more about that. But this is just the first step. You're going to see beautification of the whole local government. Etiosa local government has been picked as a, as a prime local government along with the Keja. Those two local governments have been picked to be an example to other local governments in Lagos State. So Etiosa and the Keja are the two local governments in which the administration of Senator Bola Ahmed is going to concentrate on, in which they're going to be able to show, highlight what is possible within the municipalities in Lagos State. I can go on and on and on, but you know I'm biased. So uh, I cannot say more than that, otherwise I'd be still in the... Still in the, <laughs> the problem of Lagos, the Ashwadi Ahmed Tinubu, will be a ghost of this local government today. We want to share with you what I think in you. What, what at this moment, what I want to have on you, sir? Yes, in fact, uh, uh, to me it's a very great moment for me to receive the uh, Governor of Lagos State with the local government. Uh, because for a long time we have been expecting that the Governor will have gone around to see what we've been doing. So we are happy that we are receiving him today to see some of the things we have been able to do in our local government.
I assure you, Tinubu's leadership, how has they really wrought on the development of this local government? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Ashiba Jibola Tinubu has done a lot for us in the Costa Rica government. Like you are witnessing today, like this uh, Awolo Road, it's one of the projects he has done for us. We have so many other roads he has done. One of the other big uh, projects he has been able to handle for us is the Coastal Road. The local government started it with the, the first administration started it. The, the current administration continued. Then the governor has taken it over for completion. So he has really done a lot for us in the Costa Rica government. Within the years under review, how would you describe the chairman's achievement within the government? Uh, his achievement is great. Yes, it's great. It's really, like I'm a civil servant, to the civil servant, he has really done a lot. Because when we came in, all the staff were complaining. In fact, it was, if anybody is in front of us, he taken to a test of the government. The staff would say, no, no, we don't want a test, But since we got in, everybody wants a test, Go to the local government service commission, you will hear it. Everybody wants to go to it just, because when we came in there were no furniture, no vehicles, no uniforms for drivers, no uniforms for other people who are using uniforms. Everything is in place now. We have offices. Like the just a local government, they had uh, renovated a block for them for the way for your office. They even the headquarters, every place has been renovated. Even the uh, uh, legislative block. Two has been debated. So every the staff they are enjoying. The uh, politicians too. We have a cordial relationship both with them. Thank you very much. We want to share with you what has been your experience since Ashiwa Jibola met in assumed the mantle of leadership in Lagos State. My name is Chief Mrs. Veronica Titidola Muniz, the market leader of Etiosa local government. We are, we are at Etiosa local government today and we are we're proud of what our Lagos State government, the governor has done, the Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinumbu, we are, we are we're proud of him for all what he has been done. Today, we are very happy to be in this uh, location in the um, Etiosa local government, pertaining to the, this road that he did, is one of his achievements that we are talking about. And again, we thank God for all what he has done, pertaining to the welfare, the health, um, the health organization that he did at the at the Buefon. We thank God for all the rural area that everybody have already achieved something during his own tenure, and we are still praying for more, and we pray for him to be to um, to go on the second term.
Uh, Ma, we want to share with you, how do you see the chairman's achievement to, within this local government? Mm, the chairman of Etios and local government is our papa, Baba Loibo, uh, and again, the Baba Etios and local government. We thank God for Baba, all what he has done. He has done a very nice work, particularly in the market, among the marketers at Etiosa. Baba is an old somebody, and he used the privilege that he's not a, he's an old somebody to see that he did what we call, the, he settled so many um, agreements between the marketers. And again, Baba has done so much pertaining to the parties level from A, B and all C, he done a very nice work among them that you call them, he talk to them pertaining to this second time we are going and we are now praying for Baba, that is about um, um, Ahmed so that, so that he can go the second time and again, particular about the welfare of the local government staff, Baba, I put, um, Baba is number one local government chairman that he did not even owe any anybody a penny from the local government level now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Your banner speaks volumes of how you feel about this ceremony. We want to share with you what has been your experience since you've been operating at private sector public station in Lagos State. Yeah. Okay, um, we have gained a lot of experience in being at Etios local government as a PSD levels collector. Um, in one word, we enjoy to see that we make Etios local government clean and to be the best area that will be assigned to be the most cleanest area in the Tosa local government in Koi. So that is uh, our first experience. Our experience is that we that we are operating there, we know that we have a duty to, to do. That is why we use all our energy, all our efforts, all our finances to see that the program of Asuwaju, Chinumbu, Ahmed, the governor of Lagos State is achieved a uh, success in the program. So we really enjoy it. Definitely, there's no way that you will tell me that it has been an 100% achievement. Now, starting with constraints, what are these constraints and what do you think the government should do in order to assist you? Um, we, we cannot say we are 100% perfect. Probably we are up to 95%. Now, our constraint there is that the people who are enlightened, enlightened people, they don't understand uh, the mode of this scheme because they, prefer, they just think uh, the governor just bring out, they brought out this program to do uh, carry levels all around, all around and so on. That is not the cause. We want the Lagos to be the most cleanest in the whole Nigeria. Now, the enlightened uh, people who are there, instead of them to cooperate with us, they don't cooperate. And it's not their fault. We are facing a lot of problems through their gardener, their security, because when we went there to serve them our paper, instead of the gardener and the laborer to give them the paper, they will not give them. And when the occupier is coming, see the rebels outside. If we just ask the gardener, what happened outside? He said, uh, we want to clear the revenue. If you give them money, instead of the gardener to tell them there is PSP on the ground, they use cat pusher. They use cat pusher which the cat pusher will carry it from one place to another place and dump it. Which, that is what uh, the governor don't want. He wants the revenue to be cast away from Ikoi to the dumping ground of the government recognized area. That is a uh, um, Olusosu or the transfer, at, station, uh, or transfer station at uh, Ilubini. So this, this is uh, the only way we see we can enjoy the program. Uh, do you now see a need for more public enlightenment program on this issue? Yes, we need more public enlightenment because to enlighten the, those who don't want the 
cleanliness of Lagos State. We need more enlightenment so as to enlighten them to participate the PSP so they can transfer the rebels to the normal area. They will never see any rebels in any area in Nikoye again if they participate with PSP. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank if you. I, I'm sorry, if I can't area. It's a most perfect scheme that is needed for the success of the program around Ethiopia, uh, Lagos Island and Environ. And but as it is today, there's a little problem. There's a little problem with with that uh, transfer station. We believe that they need at least two more vehicles, those big heavy vehicles, heavy trucks, to be catching away the thing to Olu Shosho. Because you know the turnaround time for operators within this distant places, you know, from Olu Shosho to VI to Island is so far away that the transfer station is deemed to help the program to achieve a roaring success here. Yeah. So we think the governor should throw in one, two, three more vehicles at uh, the transfer station and we work perfectly well. I believe um, uh, there has been um, uh, a tremendous development. Many projects have been commissioned. And I think uh, since the beginning of this administration, about three years ago, the state has witnessed a lot of developments. Many roads have been rehabilitated, new roads have emerged. What's important is that the governor has shown concern for the welfare of the people. The like you can say, he is emotional. But I think he is highly compassionate. He has shown compassion a lot. And the people of this state really need a man who shows compassion. A man who loves them. A man who can be called upon to attend to their problems. And I think we have a person, such a, such a character in Ahmed, Ashwaju Bola Tunumbu. I think he has done very well. Um, uh, we owe him a duty. The only duty we owe him, the people of Lagos State, is to return him as the next governor of Lagos State. Thank you very much. What Ashwaju and Ahmed Tunumbu has been able to do within Lagos under the dispensation? Well, uh, there's no doubt about that, that Bola Tunumbu have achieved a lot. He has achieved a lot. Uh, apart from Alaji Jakonde, I think he has taken over from that man. I think he has surpassed his record uh, in the sense of uh, road building, in the sense of uh, supplying uh, drainages. And you know that uh, flood is becoming a thing. Flood is becoming a thing of the past. Well, with respect, by the time he came in, our primary school and secondary school were in shambles. But today, we have furniture functional classrooms all over the place. And in addition with the Millennium Schools, they've been built in various local governments. I think it is a great achievement. And when you talk in terms of health, we have never had it so good in this state. Particularly the supply of ambulances, accident victims and some other things. You scarcely see cops on our road. So, and then our hospitals, well, with the teaching hospital and some other things, he has done a lot. He has, has a past man. And that is the opinion of the populace of Lagos City.
Ahora, 